In a land once forgotten by America, people are digging nearly 5,000 feet deep into the mountains. Giant drilling machines roar. More than 1,000 engineers from 30 countries work day and night. And billions of dollars are being poured in to haul up about 880,000 tons of rock. Then freeze the caverns at around negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet all of this is just a small link in the largest underground project in the United States. Sounds strange, right? Stick with me until the end. Because this is the only path that brings humanity closer to the origins of everything around us. This is the Homestake Mine, once considered the richest gold mine in America. Starting in 1876, thousands of miners tirelessly drilled more than one and a half miles deep deeper than stacking two Empire State buildings on top of each other. For 125 years, over 40 million ounces of gold were brought up from here enough to cast hundreds of solid Statue of Liberty monuments. But by 2002, the gold had run out and the mine's doors closed. But the story doesn't end there. If gold was once the treasure that drove people to homestake, today scientists are chasing a hidden treasure millions of times harder to catch. Name is the neutrino. Have you ever heard of neutrinos? They have no electric charge, nearly zero mass, and pass straight through 8,000 miles of Earth, as if the planet were empty space. This perfect invisibility might hold the answer to one of the universe's greatest mysteries. Why does matter exist while antimatter has almost vanished? A question that determines the existence of humans, Earth, and even the Milky Way. To find the answer, scientists need a place deep and quiet enough to detect the rare interactions of neutrinos. Homestake became the perfect choice. The tunnels reaching down to 4,850 feet act as a natural shield blocking cosmic radiation that could interfere. The old gold mine's infrastructure also saves hundreds of millions of dollars compared to digging a new one. In fact, back in 1960, physicist Ray Davis set up an experiment here to catch neutrinos from the sun. The surprising result, fewer neutrinos detected than expected, shook the world of particle physics and paved the way for the concept of neutrino oscillation. This very work earned the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2002. Ray Davis's legacy reignited hope for the closed gold mine. The scientific community proposed building a national-scale underground laboratory called DUSEL, which received strong backing from the National Science Foundation, the state of South Dakota, and generous funding from billionaire Denny Sanford. From that idea, the Sanford Underground Research Facility was born transforming Homestake into the world's deepest underground research fortress. On this foundation, over 1,000 scientists from more than 30 countries launched Dune the Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment. However, hunting for invisible particles that the human eye can't see is no easy task. Scientists designed an underground superhighway stretching from Illinois to South Dakota without digging a single mile of tunnel. That's right, the particle beam will travel through 800 miles of Earth's crust from the suburbs of Chicago all the way to Homestake, faster than any supersonic jet. The journey starts at Fermilab in Illinois, often called America's time machine. Here, the PIP2 accelerator speeds up protons to nearly the speed of light, then smashes them into a graphite target. This collision creates a waterfall of secondary particles which quickly decay into a beam of high-energy neutrinos. In just a few billionths of a second, a ghostly stream of particles is ready for its cross-country trip. The first stop is the near detector located about 2,000 feet underground and only about 2,000 feet from the source. Its job is to record the initial fingerprint of the neutrino beam, its components, energy, and direction. This is the before snapshot for later comparison. From there, the neutrino beam shoots through 800 miles of Earth, about the distance from New York to Miami, without any pipes or steel tunnels. The destination is the FAR detector inside Surf Homestake 4,850 feet deep in what was once America's richest gold mine. Here, four gigantic tanks of liquid argon act as cosmic three-dimensional cameras, ready to capture every rare neutrino collision. 
The goal is bold to study neutrino oscillation search for signs of CP violation, the key to why matter beats antimatter. Observe neutrinos from supernovas and even hunt for proton decay, an event that could overturn the standard model of physics. The beam's route is set, but the question is, is the destination big and safe enough to handle it? That's when Homestake entered its rebirth phase. After the gold mine closed, scientists couldn't simply lower their equipment into the old shafts. They had to carefully survey the underground geology and water systems, since the tunnels had once been flooded and collapsed. The goal was to find a spot safe and quiet enough to house the world's most sensitive detectors. In the end, they chose a depth of 4,850 feet. If you stood the Willis Tower from Chicago upside down and buried it, you still wouldn't reach the bottom. During this phase, engineers finalized the near-far configuration, set up the neutrino beam from Fermilab to Homestake, and chose liquid argon TPC chamber technology to photograph the particle's three-dimensional paths. Since each neutrino collision lasts less than a billionth of a second, the system needs nanosecond precision. With the design ready, the real conquest of the underground began. Engineers had to reinforce the shaft's lower heavy equipment nearly 1.5 kilometers down, then drill blast and remove rock for years. The amount of rock brought to the surface is staggering about 880,000 tons, the weight of eight Nimitz-class aircraft carriers, or nearly 140,000 African elephants. The result is three massive experiment caverns, each about 492 feet long, 65 feet wide, and 92 feet high. Imagine just one cavern could fit three Statues of Liberty laid on their sides with room to spare. These are the underground labs where detectors will be installed, and they're the largest man-made structures ever built at such depths on Earth. By 2024, excavation and reinforcement finished. Workers began spraying concrete lining, pouring floors, and installing ventilation electrical and plumbing systems to prepare for equipment installation. The next phase is installing four huge detector modules, the heart of the Dune experiment. Each module will hold tens of thousands of tons of ultra-pure liquid argon. In total, the whole system will need 70,000 tons of liquid argon, a number that would amaze any industrial fuel facility. To keep it liquid, the argon must be cooled to about negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit, close to the surface temperature of Pluto. Just a tiny impurity or a few degrees of temperature change could ruin the measurements and damage billions of dollars worth of equipment. When a neutrino hits an argon atom, it creates tiny trails of ions and flashes of light. The LARTPC chamber records it all in three-dimensional images, like a giant cosmic camera, sensitive enough to see traces smaller than an electron. To do this, the electronics must read data at nanosecond speeds billions of times per second. While Homestake prepares to install detectors at Fermilab in Illinois, engineers are working non-stop to build the most powerful particle cannon ever PIP2. At first, the beam's power will reach 1.2 megawatts, with a goal of 2.4 megawatts enough energy to power a medium-sized American city, all just to fire off ghost particles that no one can ever see. From Fermilab, the neutrino beam is aimed underground using a structure called an earth berm, an artificial grass-covered hill. Sounds simple, but it's actually a massive engineering structure that precisely directs trillions of particles through Earth's crust. This beam will fly straight from Illinois to Homestake, traveling underground without any tunnel. It's a one-of-a-kind ghost particle highway in the world. When everything is ready expected by the late 2020s, the first modules will begin operation. The project will roll out in stages, and by the early 2030s, all four modules will be fully up and running. Over decades, Dune hopes to record millions of neutrino events, extremely rare traces that could unlock the universe's biggest mysteries. If gold mining was a race that demanded human strength and machines, then hunting neutrinos is a race that pushes the limits of technology and imagination. The biggest challenge isn't digging deep or building tunnels, but the fact that neutrinos almost never leave a trace. 
Statistics show that hundreds of trillions of neutrinos pass through your body every second, but you might never catch a single interaction in your lifetime. That means to get just a few rare events, Dune must collect data non-stop for decades. Think about it, that kind of patience is like planting an oak forest and waiting three generations to harvest the acorns. On top of that, the project faces environmental and social challenges. Located right under the town of lead construction means hundreds of truckloads of rock leaving the area every day creating a noisy and expensive operation. To put it in perspective, the amount of rock excavated from Homestake could build 10 Yankee stadiums in New York, and that's not all the financial side sparks debate. The total budget is estimated at three to four billion dollars, about the same as building a modern Olympic stadium, or enough to install over 500,000 solar panels for clean energy. Despite these huge challenges, Dune is truly a bold scientific gamble, costly, risky, and seemingly impossible. But carrying the hope of answering the biggest question of all, why do we exist in this universe? And the amazing thing is, this ghost particle hunt isn't just America's journey, it's happening all over the world. In Japan, the Hyper Cameo Kande project is seen as the successor to Super Cameo Kande, the experiment that won Takegi Kajita, the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physics, for proving neutrinos have mass. Hyper K is a giant tank of ultra pure water, nearly 233 feet high and 223 feet in diameter, buried 2,130 feet under a mountain. It's so massive you could fit a New York skyscraper inside. When neutrinos pass through and emit Cherenkov radiation, thousands of sensors capture the faint blue light like lightning in the dark. Hyper K receives a neutrino beam fired from Tokai, 183 miles away, and has an ambitious goal to detect proton decay if found, it would overturn all of modern physics. Meanwhile in China, the Juno project is taking shape in Guangdong. Juno is buried 2,300 feet underground, using a giant spherical tank 213 feet in diameter, holding up to 70,000 tons of ultra-pure liquid. Imagine an artificial ocean underground just to catch a few delicate neutrino interactions. Juno's goal is to determine the neutrino mass hierarchy, one of the key mysteries in particle physics today. With thousands of optical sensors surrounding it, Juno is like a giant eye, waiting for the faint light from ghost particles. Even farther south in Antarctica, there's perhaps the strangest project, Ice Cube. Instead of building tunnels or tanks, Ice Cube uses one and a half miles of natural permafrost as its detection medium. Scientists drilled 86 ice shafts and lowered more than 5,160 optical sensor modules, turning a vast frozen plain into an underground telescope. Ice Cube doesn't just hunt neutrinos from the sun or accelerators, it also records ultra high energy particles from cosmic events like exploding supernovas or Blazar's galaxies that shoot massive particle jets from supermassive black holes. In 2013, Ice Cube detected neutrinos from outside our solar system for the first time, and by 2017, it traced them to a blazer billions of light years from Earth. Isn't it fascinating? All over the planet, from icy labs to deep dark tunnels, people are diving into the strangest scientific hunt in history. What do you think about this daring ghost particle quest? Share your thoughts in the comments below and join the discussion. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any exciting and inspiring science stories.